heading to Gregory and then off to Normanton. It's yeah. about, I think Clive says 425 k's. But before we go, what is it today, Jack? My dad's birthday. Happy birthday, Billy. <laughs> Happy birthday, Bill. We hope you have a great day. He'll no doubt hit some bowls or go out for lunch with Mari. We both uh, hope you have a great day. We'll ring you later on. Yeah, we'll try and call you. All right, on the road again. Oh, he loved it here. Awesome place. But we're off to Normanton. And then Corumba. Well, we don't think we'll make it to Corumba today. We'll just uh, plod along and see where we get to. Beautiful morning for a ride. It'll be a cracker of a day. Just take your time fast and honey. you're up for a nice cup of coffee <laughs> looks like we've got reception here so let's give uh, Billy boy another call yep. that was a beautiful coffee break here <clears throat> I'm just gonna go and top up with fuel because we've got about 350 k's to go today and uh, we'll make it on the one tank we top up and we got to speak to Bill for his birthday so that was even better all right see you later Gregory on the Normington seen a motorbike go past here recently uh, about half an hour no, no. no. okay no worries right. um, yeah so yeah no worries everyone's all right yeah everyone's all right yeah it's good. a rollover yeah, yeah. yeah all right no worries. thank you well see you later caravan the thing is done Yeah, we've seen a few of them, haven't we, on our journey? That's for sure. Well, somehow I think Clyde might have gone, hung it right into that last town, and we've just hung a left thing on straight for Normanton, so Tiffany's behind us, and he'll, um, he'll work it out and catch us up. Let's keep going, Dale. Mr. Croc, it's a freshie. There's the other side.
a big day, 440 k's, 90 k's of that was dirt, 350 black top, a big day. So uh, we're just going to look for Clive, see if we can find him, we're not really sure where he is. Just go up the main street, have a bit of a look around. Not sure if he's in front of us or behind us, so anyhow, we'll catch up sooner or later. You're going to find Cl Clive, you're probably going to find him sitting at a pub next to his bike having a cold beer. Who's there for a day like that? Yes, that is the purple pub. Jackie's going to have a look. That croc is huge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we'll just sit here, wait for Clive for a while, uh, and then we'll go and fill up. I reckon we're definitely here before him. All right, let's go and fill up while we're waiting for him. What do you know? That looks like Clive. <laughs> uh, classic. How long have you been here? Ten minutes. At the Normington pub, and uh, we're just making a decision to push on the extra 70 k's. We'll just cruise it in at 70 because we get a bit of wildlife. Take us another hour. Uh, Jackie's ringing up now to see if we can get a cabin for the night and we'll set up the tents tomorrow We'll see how she goes. Hopefully we can find some accommodation at Corumba All right, the decision has been made. We've got a motel tonight, but it's 70 k down the road at Corumba So we're off is all about. You can go and watch the sunset over the water. Well that was a uh, 510k day. 90 of it was dirt. And my wife is an absolute legend. Well done Dale. Great day. Right on mate. That was a big day. Checked in room number five. Let's go and have a look at this. Room number five with a view. Perfect. Check this view out. Brilliant. Definitely be able to watch the sun go down here.
sorted everything, Jack's going to rest at uh, where we're staying, Clive and I, we're going to quick look around the town. Alright, this must be the point. For tea tonight. This is beautiful, mate. Another trawler going out. Prawn season starting in two days. Yeah, right. A few people out having a fish. I don't want to get too close to that water's edge though, that's for sure. The caravan parks here. Lots of close to the water. And they're all really busy. Like everywhere else we've been on this trip. They're a discovery centre and also an information centre. We'll just have to go and have a bit of a look in here. Love these signs, been seeing them everywhere. God, have a look at that, coming off a uh, freshwater swordfish. That's huge. Aerial shot. Another cool shot of where we're staying. Well, there's not really too much to this town, that's for sure. And uh, if you're here, you certainly would like with one of the uh, fishermen. Everyone does here. All right, another day finished in Crumba. Just a cruisy day, checking over the bikes, doing the air filters, uh, throw a spanner over them, get the chain, chilled out. But tonight we're going to the tavern for tea on the point. Watch the sunset. So just at the tavern, ready to watch the sunset. And there is Jackie and Clive. How's that going down, honey? Mm. Beautiful? Nice. Clive, good? Good, mate, yeah. That's good. Oh, what a right. sunset, eh? Yeah. Beautiful. Could be better. I can't believe how far the tide goes up. Yeah, it's crazy. Good tides. Last day here at Carumba. Uh, we're just having a bit of a rest day before we head off again. Uh, I've had a few people over the last sort of 10 weeks asking about Clive's DR. A few people have bought them and uh, looking to do big trips. Asked me if I could do a bit of a rundown on it. So uh, let's get Clive over here and do a rundown on Fatso, the DR650. So what have you done to it, mate? Right, this is Fatso, 21 model. Yep. Um, I bought it brand new, took it home, pulled it apart, rebuilt it into what it is now. Yep. So I've gone with the Evo Adventure Bars. Yep. Which I'm really happy with, with the bath risers. Yep. I've got the heated Oxford hand grips, USB ports. Yep, got three of them there. I bought off of eBay. Uh, not particularly good quality one, I'll change that when I get home. Yep. Ram mount, quad lock. Uh, what else? We've got the Safari tank from yep. Robin Box. What size is that one? Uh, standard there, 30, yep. but I'm getting about 36 litres in it now because they swell up. Yep. I've got the uh, the Anderson plug uh, that I can jump start the bike so I don't have to pull that seat off. I can just plug it straight into my battery. Yep. Uh, is, that a, is that a seat concept seat you got on there? Yeah, that's an American uh, sort of touring concept seat. Really happy with that. Yep. Um, a BMB, I bought the. Uh, the rear plates and the rack from them i mm -hmm. bought the uh tail tidy yeah tail tidy which i'm a little bit disappointed with because i've got a hairline crack in it yeah i also put on a um 
a water storage uh, sort of unit pipe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which has worked really well. Wolfman bags. Yeah, which I swear by. Yeah, your exhaust. Uh, exhaust is stain tuned. Yeah. Um, I've had them on all my bikes. I love them. Yeah. Uh, racks were from America, about mm. 150 bucks, I think. Yeah, you got the case savers I've and got, stuff on there too. Yeah, I've got the uh, sort of case uh, savers. I've got the frame protectors. Yeah, that's on both sides too, isn't both it? Both sides. Um, the suspension was done by Pro Moto Suspension. Ian at Maitland done a fantastic job. Yeah. I've got the uh, Helinox um, Sunset Chair, mm -hmm. thanks to Paul and Jackie. <laughs> Talked him into that one yeah. after he had his little one. He sat on Jackie's for while we did the gib, and as soon as we got off the gib, that was it, straight to get a Helinox. Yeah. I bought the uh, B&B uh, Spotlight Bracket, which works really well. The Spotlight was just a cheapie from, from eBay. I'm going to update that. Yep. I bought the screen from... Screens uh, of bikes, is it? Larger works. Oh yeah, yeah. In America. Yeah. I started to make a um, a window f uh, deflector. Yeah. But I bought it off of eBay for thirty eight bucks, which was much cheaper, and it works absolutely fantastic. Yeah. You got really the headlight cool. headlight little protector headlight as well, protector. which is it's a must. Also got the LED headlight from America. Yeah. Lowered pegs? Did you lower uh, it? Lower? Lowered pegs, but I didn't go for the plate. I went for the actual pegs. Yep. Because the plate drops it down too low for when you're jumping logs. Yeah. And what uh, sprocket you're running on that? Because you changed uh, that from standard. I bought that off of Vince Strang. Yep. I think it's a 47. Right. Standard front, 15. Yep. Um, and that's about it, really. So how many Ks have you done on Fatso now? Uh, 20... 4,295. Wow, and most of that's been on this trip, so it's been yeah. put through the ringer, yeah. and the time that I've been with Clive, Fatso, we haven't put a spanner to it, other than just to check that everything's still tight, that's it, has not missed a beat. They're just a great all-round bike, there's no radiators on it, apart from the oil laps of cooler. Yep. And I bought a B&B uh, Protector 4. Yep. There's no injection. There's a CDI unit, but it's just a simple bike. Yeah. Just really easy to work on. Yeah. Just and, love it. Yeah, and being in the Aussie Outback, there's a lot to be said for keeping it simple, that's for sure. I mean, a lot of people love all the technology on bikes and stuff like that, but, um, you know, when you're out in the middle of nowhere, having a bike that's got very little to break down is the way to go. And the tyres I've got on it yep. are the Traxinator rear, Traxinator front. Yep. I was a bit worried about the front, but it, it works really well in the dirt. Yep. Uh, Having said that, Clive's been riding for about 35 years, so it doesn't really matter what terrain he comes up against, he just ploughs through it. So if it was me, I'd be putting a knobby, a much more of an aggressive tyre on, but I've followed him for about 10,000 k's now, and that's fine for him, no problem. So anyhow, so that's Fatso for the couple of people that have asked to oh, get a rundown. Oh, hang on, here we go. Got to go to Bathbusters. They are absolutely fantastic. Yeah, they're a must, aren't they? They're probably one of the very first things you put on a bike, that and a bash plate, a set of Bathbusters and go from there. So anyhow, as I said, that's Fatso uh, for those guys that asked for a rundown on it. There it is. But uh, tomorrow we're out of here, aren't we? We're, we're, uh, we're taking off. We're actually splitting tomorrow for a couple of days. Clive's going to do... Uh, what the section? Burke development track. Yeah, and Jackie and I, we're just going to head down to uh, in a, what's the springs called we're heading to? To Inet Springs. Inet Springs, right. and we're going to meet up again in a couple of days. So next time you see us, we'll all be on the road, but we'll be parting way for a couple of days. So for those guys that want to run down on Fatso, there you go.